I think the first important thing is to clear out your area, which is what I just did. Does this work? Can I use this? Why do I want to use this so bad still? Uh, can I actually fit them on the side? Oh, groundbreaking, did you see that? Boom. What's up, you guys? So now that my home is finally done, super excited about Villa Ho Inn, gonna be honest, while aesthetically it is superb, some of the functionality is on struggle, specifically my bathroom, you guys. Like, I know that we ended up having this incredible, what is this called? Credenza? Mm. Even though we have this amazing shelving unit that technically was actually for China in a kitchen, um, I have yet to properly organize all of my toiletries and trust me, it's a lot. So today's the day. I'm finally taking the time to organize my bathroom. Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. One of the things in my life that is super organized is my vitamin routine and I'm actually really proud of that. As you guys may have seen from my previous videos, I have been taking Ritual Vitamins for quite some time now, a few years, and I love them, you guys. If you haven't heard me talk about them before, Ritual helps women and men of all ages fill the gaps in their diet. And it's only, get this, a dollar a day to have nine high quality nutrients shipped to your door every month. How convenient is that? Ritual actually searched the globe for the best suppliers from around the world, and I really love that they're super transparent about where they source their ingredients. In fact, transparency is at the core of everything that Ritual does. From the way nutrients are sourced to the environmental impact of materials they actually use to ship thousands of orders. How awesome is that? I actually think that this is really aesthetically pleasing as well, how cute. I actually take the essential for women, but they also offer men's 50 plus prenatal, postnatal and teen multivitamins. And recently they launched a new essential protein range. So to fill in the gaps in your diet with Ritual's Essential for Women Multivitamins like I take right here, get 20% off your first month. Go to ritual.com backslash ATA20 and use ATA20. Voila. Now for some of the things that are quite unorganized in my life. This cubby right here. Okay, I have not touched it, I have not prepped it, I have not made it look extra nice for you. It is exactly as disastrous as it has been for quite some time. And my biggest issue is rushing and needing to find things and not knowing where they are. So I did like a bootleg version of organizing and I got a few trays, but guys, they're not great. So we're gonna redo it and we're actually gonna make this happen together and I'll share some tips and tricks that I figured out and hopefully you guys can share some of yours in the comments below. So here is the big reveal of my toiletry cabinet. So as you can see, it looks like I've put a little bit of effort into being somewhat organized here, but I think I got the wrong bins. Like this is white and I find myself having to go like this to see what everything is. So I did a quick little stop by Target and I found a lot of these clear ones. I'm gonna be honest with you, not sure what's gonna fit and what's not, let's figure it out together. Here we go. So I am actually going to take everything out and let's see what happens. I feel like I categorized pretty well in these bins, but then there was like all this other random stuff on the side. So let's start with these. These actually just need to go because I actually did this for the reel. They asked me to do a review on these TikTok popular hair waver curlers and they were absolutely terrible. And they were like pulling my hair out and I should definitely bring this back to the reel and see if anybody there would like it. But for now, no thank you. The Tox. Oh, okay, the Tox is a place that I go to here in LA. This is actually for dry brushing, which I'm kind of obsessed with. This is a dry brush here as well, and this is the one that I got from the Tox. Um, again, it's like, where do I put this? A huge pack of Q-tips. There has to be a cuter way to display this than just like this. An extra tub stopper. Fun fact, I got this on Amazon. I only wanted the white one, but it came with two, so. Okay, then, Oh my God, this is like very personal. I always forget how personal your toiletry bins are, but here we go, all things Adrian, keeping it real. This is ovulation sticks. Here we go. 
I bought this on Amazon as well because I heard that I could actually detox my curls and bring back my original curls by using this. Comment below if you've heard of that. And if so, should we do an episode where we try to do all the things that they say to do to bring back and revitalize curls? A whole wavy curly hair girl tutorial situation. Um, I heard this was great. Again, I purchased it and have yet to use it. Advil PM, that's all Israel. Vapo rub, contact solution, Neosporin. This feels like a medical kit. The top section, just for men. Israel's tint for his beard that he uses every so often. I'm like, I'm into the Silver Fox vibes, but hey, he goes for different vibes. Lip balms. My favorite, favorite, favorite lip sleeping masks, Laneige, mouthwash, eye cream. That should definitely be in this bin with all the rest of my skincare. And then we've got, I'm kind of obsessed with all of these scalp serums. I try all these hair serums and um, I never actually stick to them, but, but here they are. These flossers that Israel loves, not my faves. They're randomly here, that's not cute. Flosser picks. Extra toothpaste, extra toothbrush, scissors. My Synthroid medication for my thyroid. Then we have salt and stone. Guys, can we just talk about how aesthetically pleasing this box is? I actually used to have it on display up there because I just thought it was so pretty. Can you believe these are cleansing facial wipes? I got them at Air One and they're just so freaking pretty. Look at this. Like what? Some panty liners. And now we have actually what I did somewhat organize in bins. So I'm gonna move this aside and start reorganizing. So I think the first important thing is to clear out your area, which is what I just did, and then kind of see what is going to actually fit in here. I'm gonna try to figure out what the best configuration is. I may have gotten more than what I actually need, but you know, you just play around, you figure it out, and then I'm gonna take back whatever I didn't actually get to. So while I did put this in here, It kind of is doing the same thing that these did, except for I don't have dividers, and I definitely need to be able to separate like what's what. So I'm gonna say these are not gonna work for this space. So bye to these. And I actually like the way that is fitting. Now I'm gonna try to see if these two fit in here. Oh, they do. That is so much better. Literally because I was searching like one behind the other, now they're side by side. Groundbreaking. And I'm also gonna like declutter some of this because some of this I really don't even use. Like this. Don't use that, don't use this. But I do use this and it lost the cap. Okay, so some curl affair, leave in. I'm gonna use the things that I don't really use towards the back and then I'm gonna use the stuff that I use tons of towards the front. Good old Olaplex. Got all three of those, some, some. I get all these things. This is the Vegamore Grow Advanced Scalp Detoxifying Serum. It's going back here. Oh, my other two serums. They have found a home. They're gonna go up front, because I feel like that'll remind me to actually use them. My favorite ever, the Unite U Oil. They got new packaging, I don't know why it's orange, but hey. Keep that in front, I use that all the time. This was actually something I got in a sampler. Don't need that anymore, it's empty. Orbe spray, structure spray. I don't really use spray, so I'm gonna put this more towards the back. Root spray. The way that my roots grow out, this needs to be right up front. And then Israel's two, actually the third one is over here. Huh. Can I actually fit them on the side? Oh, groundbreaking, did you see that? Boom. Now I have space for this which is an intense mask. I will put that right there. That took up some space and maybe that's something that my, that can lean on. Do I have any of this left? Moroccan oil, there is nothing in this. I've used it all. Did I? No, there's something in there. I feel good about that. Do you guys feel good about this? I feel like I can see everything. If I need to slick my hair back in a bun, it's these, if I need, this this is good. I feel good about this. Okay. Then the other section was hair tools. I have got, guys, I'm kind of in love with this. My sister put me on to this L'Oreal Steam Pod. Have you guys tried these? 
It actually allows you to just wash, condition your hair, and then you rinse it out. Then you go to bed with a little bit of leave-in conditioner in your hair and you let it air dry overnight. Then in the morning, you steam pod your hair straight. It's pretty epic. It, has, it actually has a little thing. See, you fill it up with water and then you steam your hair. Kinda love this. Let's see that this fits. In this corner? No, that's not gonna let me. This is about to be tragic. Okay, so clearly this does not fit in here. So I think I know what I'm gonna do. I actually have a bunch of items in here that can go in these little squares. And I'm gonna keep this basket, but the only thing I'm gonna keep in it is my one steam pod and my hair brushes. Why is there a measuring tape? Was I trying to measure my waist? These kind of did come in handy because it's kind of deeper. There we go. And then I'm just gonna put my hair brushes in it. Does this work? Guys, does that kind of work? I would just like grab this. Oh, my shower cap can go in here too. I forgot about that. I'll just tuck that right in front. I'm gonna actually just throw these two still in with my hair tools because although they're not aesthetically pleasing, I might be using them when I'm actually using the Steam Pro to flat iron my hair and separate sections. Then we've got this section that I've kind of already started and I like where we're going. I actually think I want dental stuff to go up here, not next to my hair. I'm going to put these right next to the hair stuff. Fun fact, you guys, this is not my contact solution. I use dailies. Israel has contacts that he never wears, but he has this really expensive solution for them and I'm just gonna put them back here, just right there by itself where it'll never get used. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm getting rid of this little salt and stone box that I actually thought was so cute. And I'm actually just gonna take the packets out and place them right here. That actually looks really cute. The vitamins are actually really aesthetically pleasing and I'm not gonna front. I think I'm gonna keep those out there. That's really cute. And now I've got this little section here, perfect for what? My lip balms. So this is like hair, lips, face. Voila. What am I gonna put back here? Panty liners? I don't even really use these. I think I purchased these once, but some pads, people. Listen, this is the thing. Just being totally honest with you, I am that girl that people come over to my house and ask me for feminine products and I never have them. So at this point, I'm now storing feminine products, not for myself, but for my friends. If they did need it, now I have it in a whole little section. This was actually my initial idea, which was very cute for like tampons. But I feel like now that those are there, Let's just go for it, people. We're gonna put them all together in this little corner. And I actually think that that looks really cute. I have a little feminine care section. Who knew? Can I use this? Can I, why do I wanna use this so bad still? Okay, now it's time to tackle these two top baskets. Let me just clear up some things. Hold, please. This is my skincare situation. This is a fun fact. Somehow Israel subscribed to LifeCell, and for the rest of our lives, we keep getting this South Beach skincare all-in-one anti-aging treatment, and we don't know where it came from. Like, we don't know who's getting charged for this. We don't know how it's happening, but I swear every month we get one of these. So there's tons of them, but I do love this stuff. Okay, this is Kate Somerville Delicate Recovery Serum. You guys know that I have super sensitive skin, and it's actually uh, for stressed skin and it calms it down and soothes it. So I do love this serum, and I do love the recovery cream that came with it, and there's actually also a cream facial cleanser that's in the shower. Um, got this from my Tibiant fam, Skin Clinical Extreme Healing Extra Strength Repair Cream. Use this when my rosacea is acting up, and also if I've gotten too much sun, this is great for that. Augustus Bader, Augustinus, Augustinus. Augustinus. Augustinus Bader. Okay, the rich cream. I discovered this in the Hamptons last summer. Loved it, but I really use it only late at night. 
And then of course, one of my favorites for before I go to bed at night, or honestly, I love wearing this under my makeup, and it's the Lancome Advanced Genifique Concentrate with Youth Activating Serum. It's a youth activating concentrate. And guys, it's the Emily in Paris exclusive one. So definitely not getting rid of this. Love this. Then we've got Milk, the Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Everyone swears that this is amazing for setting your makeup. Barbara Sturm Molecular Cosmetic Super Anti-Aging Serum. Barbara Sturm Super Anti-Aging Face Cream. Summer Fridays, Cloud Dew. Biogel. Then we've also got the Summer Fridays um, Eye Cream. Guys, I got a lot of stuff. This is the Furtina Skin. Got that at the Goop in the Hamptons along with the Furtina Skin Bi Phase Moisturizing Oil. One of my faves to use at night is the Cora Organics Noni Glow. Wait. Guys, right now I just got worried that I said Yoni Glow. And I was like, no, but I've put this on my face. Noni Glow. Just clarifying that really quickly. Apply on your clean face and neck. Not gonna lie, this is my favorite neck mask for sleeping. Does wonders. Of course, my tried and true is the Kiehl's Just Basic Ultra Facial Moisturizer. Never makes my skin burn, obsessed. Um, then I have the Tox, a little Gua Sha Sitch. Is that how you say that, Gua Sha? But I do wanna show you guys something that I use that I swear by. It is called the Vanish PFB Chroma Bright Skin Brightening. Guys, this is for your bikini area and also you can use it on your uh, underarms and it pretty much makes sure that you never get ingrown hairs. It brightens the area so that you don't get any dark spots. It takes away any waxing or razor bumps and it also has this cool blue roll on and it's for men and women. Love this, swear by this. Okay, this is my body skin. So here I have body lotion, Olay, which is my favorite collagen firming and hydrating lotion. We've got Nair Ready Strips for your legs and body. I actually did an Instacart and asked for Nair for my upper lip and this is what they sent. And I wasn't gonna throw it out, but I've actually never tried this for my legs and my body, but I will keep it there. And then there are all these little extra razors. Then we have a body massage cream, body cream. This is actually super fragrant. I use this to layer it with my other perfume that's there. Jergens Natural Glow. So now I'm just gonna place that in these. Let's go. I'm also now gonna try to use this because I just think it's so cute and I really wanna make it work. I'm actually going to place right here. How cute does that look? Then I also have these flossers that Israel loves. Maybe I can put these in a little section like so. These flossers that I love, I can put them right here. I've got to find a better way, but for now she's gonna go there. I also have extra toothbrush. Then I'm gonna put you right to the front and then I can just spin you. I actually like that I have some empty spaces here, you guys, because it allows me to grow and you guys know that I'm always buying new things. So I actually love that we've got a few empty open spaces here. Yo, y'all just really sat with me and watched me organize. I did not think this through. You got through it with me and I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope I inspired you to just go into your bathroom and hopefully organize your toiletries. Thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to subscribe.